So hey guys welcome back once again and in this video I'm going to show you how I generated cool looking images with the help of stable diffusion and disco diffusion. So this is one of my favorite image that I generated using stable diffusion with the help of dreamlike diffusion model. So I just wanted to try out disco diffusion and wanted to see what result do I get using disco diffusion for this image. So the first attempt was this one okay. I will list the prompt in the section below in the description below and this was my first attempt in the disco diffusion and it was quite amazing result but I want to try out a little more and this let me show you the second result. So this was the second result that I generated. The description of the prompt will be already in the description below and in this video I'm going to show you how I generated this okay and the most amazing piece was this the last one so it took me 20 minutes to generate this image on disco diffusion so i was trying to generate somewhat like this but i literally failed but so this were one of the best images that i generated using disco diffusion and in this video let's try another images one of the another favorite images that uh, i generated using stable diffusion so i'm gonna try it on this image okay so let's get started the first thing you need to go is go into disk diffusion. Mine is already set. You can see the setting. Okay. I've already deleted the unnecessary things. So this is the setup uh, right, right now. This is the setup. It's already set up on this page. Okay. So the next thing you need to do is go to settings. I will add orange Batman. Okay. Orange Batman. O -R -A -N -G. Orange Batman. And these are the settings that I've already set for the final images. For the final images that I created this image okay so these are the setting that I have already set up okay so you can copy these settings and let's see and first of all let's uh, upload the image okay let's upload the image uh, let's upload the image for uploading the image you need to go over here click, click on this folder and just click on this icon and you will see that images it will open the window will open for images okay the next thing you need to do is just right click the image is already uploaded just right click copy the path and just paste it on init image okay init image i'm not explaining any settings over here because i was using uh, this notebook in order to guide me to the result so this was the notebook that i was using for uh, the values okay copy of zippies disco diffusion cheat sheet so the next thing i am gonna do is if you are using any init images a uh, image for reference so whatever the steps you are using like i'm using 1000 step so you need to make sure that your skip step should be half of the steps first of all let's copy the prompt with the help of uh, like uh, sorry first we will do with artist name okay let's go let's paste it on this okay let's paste okay i've just pasted it on this and let's run this prompt first of all let's see if it's okay okay yes it's okay so now i'm gonna do what i do i just only want one image okay display rate 10 so that uh, it will show you on 10th frame so let's now run all and let's see what it generates it will take time it will take time it will take almost like 20 minutes so just be patient and i will skip this part okay okay so this is the result i got and it's literally the worst images that i generated and compared to this if you see this it's really a beautiful image and let's see what i can do for the first thing i can do is that just come back and I think so clip guidance scales is overshooting this image and let's get it to 10,000 10,000 so CGS is one of the most important parameter so it tells how strongly you want a clip to move towards your prompt each time step okay so this is I think so was the one that destroyed this image so I'm gonna test now with like a low value it was 25,000 and let's try it with a low value and let's change this so this is the prompt and let's try it once again Okay, so here we are. This is the second result that we got at least better than the first one. 
so now comparing both of the images the first images was literally a hell a disaster but second images was almost like okay it's got a good result and for this you can see it was like totally a disaster first one there was no face at least this has a little bit of face shape but not as close to this one this one which i rendered yesterday and yeah it took me almost like three let, let me close this and let me show you all this okay so it took me like three attempts to get close to this and it all depends on what you set on disco diffusion and the values and your prompt so it just takes some time and your patience to get a perfect image like this and this is not a perfect but yeah this is a good image like this so that's it for today and i will be back with more and interesting videos tomorrow and yeah i will definitely get a good image of that orange batman as well so till then have a good day guys and see you soon guys till then have a good day and bye guys love you all guys bye guys